on, so today on Big House Ball, we are back for day number two, baby. We are back for a very exciting day of Rugby 7 here at Spotless Stadium in Sydney. Yesterday was obviously day one. There were some massive results. There was some awesome atmosphere. And if you haven't seen day one's vlog, then you need to go and check that one out. Because I tell you what, Australia wouldn't even be in the finals if it wasn't for an after the siren try against South Africa. Who didn't actually need to score, didn't need to, they didn't need to win. They're already in the finals. Argentina will be spilling about that. And the Fijian atmosphere, as we all know, is wild as per usual. If I didn't already mention it, guys, this is final stage. This is the HSBC 7's Sydney League. It's going to be a ripper day. I don't really know who's going to win this. Obviously, Fiji's up there. Australia's in there. I don't think they're going to win it, but I hope they're going to win it. But they play Fiji straight away. Yep. Yeah. 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 I don't know who to go for, man. Obviously, I go for Australia, but my family in Fiji, that's why I love them so much. So it's very difficult for me. But at least it's not in the final. The final would just, you know, it would crush me if Fiji played Australia. <laughs> it would crush me because I, I really wouldn't know who to support because I absolutely love Fiji. But obviously, I'm Australian, so... <laughs> You know? <laughs> the main positive out of today though is that the rugby gods, the rugby gods have shone the light on us, son. We have got a perfect day. There is not a clam sky. Can't see a clam sky. I can't see a clam sky. It's not a clam sky. Yesterday and the day before was raining, cloudy, and just misty and cold and miserable. It was still fun, but today you can't ask for better weather than this. It's going to be extremely hot though, like I'm already sweating. I'm thinking about going and chuck a singlet on so that I can use this in the night time, you know, when Fiji's probably in the final. <laughs> I'm not going to talk too much out here about the previous tournaments in Dubai, Cape Town and Hamilton. If you want to go and hear about those results and, and what that kind of means for this tournament, then go and check out day one's video. Anyway guys, enough talking out here. Let's go head in there. Let's go have some fun. Let's go soak up the atmosphere, which by the way, there is plenty of. <laughs> but the main thing guys that I want you to take out of these videos is live your passion. Live your passion. That's what I do. That's what I want you to do because without passion, you know, your heart's not full. So go out and do it. I believe in you and you should believe in yourself because you should not let anybody tell you that you can't do something. If you believe in what you're doing, then go out and do it. Come on, Fiji, but most importantly, come on, Aussie. I know it's gonna happen. I know it's gonna happen. 
one of the big USA boys after a big win. Going for the semi-finals, mate, how you feeling? I feel pretty good, man. Body's feeling all right. Mind's in a good place, ready to go. Hot day, bud. Hot day. How does, how does that go on, on the body with all the boys? It was real nice yesterday that I let it cool off, right? so it's not a two-day drain. But, uh, I mean, this it wasn't terrible. That's what we're kind of used to back to our restraints, so I think it'll be all right. Obviously, now you go through the semi-finals and play England, you feel you better go against them there and there. And no big team today, they know they've got the pace. How do you feel you're uh, it's going to be really close. It's always really tight when we play. Usually games within a try. So it's going to come down to who makes those big plays when they matter. And they have more. Yeah, Carl Lentz is a good match. Yeah. Yeah. And just finally, obviously you guys have come second in all three tournaments. How do you guys go about picking yourself up? Like, obviously it's, it's a phenomenal like, to get there. But how do you go about getting that next level? Well, our ultimate goal for the season is top four. Yeah, that's we want to qualify for the Olympics. So as long as we keep reaching that goal, we're staying positive. And we, like, yes, we really want to win that last game. But it's not going to crush us if we keep having these performances where we're playing really well and making it to the final. I guess we just go away, look at our game, I'm real happy with what we did, so I think if we can just build on that again, um, go into the game strong and, and yeah, regroup. Alright, so obviously we haven't done any women's this week, we can't actually film the women's between, it's too much content, I need to have two separate videos for that, and I'll do that eventually. Alright, so we're getting to the end of the day now, we are watching Australia and South Africa, now last night, this was the big match, last night, obviously this one, Went down the line. Australia needed to win by five. They're up by three after the science. They had the ball. They lost the ball. Australia ended up winning the game. So South Africa probably has something to prove it. And this is for fifth place. Because both of these teams are out. And they got out quite early. They got out in the quarterfinals. So now we're going to see every single point matters when it comes to seven. So, you know, even coming fifth is better points. And even coming fifth gets you more points than the other. Oh! No, he's too fast. That
last 10 seconds. So I don't forget. Oh, Tabby get me right beside HSBC Sydney Sevens Cup. Yeah. 
this is a big achievement. Um, we're consistent right now, so we just got to grow from this loss and keep it going. Yeah, you said, man. Obviously, the next step is, is Las Vegas. Yeah, but how do you how do you guys go and get into the next one? I mean, it's just the same thing, man. Nothing really changes. Um, just prepare right, um, get our sleep right, recovery right, and just make sure that every the little things that we did do here, we do there. And I think the most important thing, man. Obviously, Super Bowl tomorrow. What do you reckon? What are you tipping? Uh, the Rams gonna win. But I like the Patriots, but I'm not the Patriots. <laughs> awesome. Well, I appreciate it. I'm here with Dan Norton after the completion of the tournament, England. No, nothing to scoff that. No, it's cool, yeah. It's a nice feeling. It's been a long weekend. Um, a few wins and a few losses, but uh, yeah, nice to come out of third and uh, get some valuable points for the rest of the season. Uh, obviously, today's the weather was a little bit different to what it's like in England. How do you guys go about coping with that? We're, we're humans. We're used to, we, we enjoy the heat and stuff, so it's nice, but um, yeah, it makes things a lot easier playing in the, in the heat and stuff. Like, the ball's off, should be easy to grip and stuff. Uh, and yeah, we just enjoy running around like everybody else, so it's all the fun. Now, going into the rest of the tournament, uh, uh, where do you guys feel that you're you're going to be positioned? Like top four Olympics, obviously. Uh, yeah, it's going to be close, regardless. You know, there's been some some big wins for some teams all over the place. Uh, yeah, it's going to be quite interesting to see how it ends up. But that's what everybody wants. That's the spectacle we, everybody wants, and hopefully, it'll be we'll hopefully get there. But yeah, it's a long season. We'll still have best as much as we can. Same other team as well. Obviously, I'm here with the big fella, Scott Greggy, after a big win. Mate, how you feeling? Oh, stoked. I mean, every tournament you win's, you know, over the moon, so uh, we're just real happy to come home for the win. Obviously, we were speaking, uh, was it after the semi-final? Uh, what went on in between there that got you guys in the mind frame to, to get such a big win like this? I guess we just trust the process. Um, we knew we'd been away and done all the training we needed to, so just going away and executing, same old game plan, get in there and do it. The competition's crazy. I mean, uh, we're happy with the position we're in at the moment, but just have to keep building and hopefully things will take off. Last time the Ocean of Rugby won when I interviewed him, one of my subscribers said you were incredibly attractive. So, you know, there you go. You've got another thing, Golfie. Single? Uh, yeah. Single? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Alright, bro, you guys celebrate your win, eh? Thank you. Stuff. Anyway, guys, that's going to do us for today's video. If you like it, boys, give me thumbs up so that you're enjoying this content. Woo, what an absolute tournament, son. What an absolute tournament. The final was a big win for New Zealand. But the thing is, they were just the, the form team. Like, even with Fiji getting that red card, they were already at 14 0 and they were already looking dominant. So, 100% thought that New Zealand was going to take that out from the outset. USA, on the other hand, they are playing well. Unfortunately, they've now come second four times in a row. It's only been four tournaments, and yet they've come second in every single one. But the thing is, is that a lot of people are kind of you know, underrating that. They are top of the table. That does mean they're top of the table right now. So don't sleep on the USA just because they keep going second doesn't mean they aren't doing their job and, and doing exactly what is needed. You don't need to win every single time to come first in the entire tournament. But like I said, guys, that is going to do us for this weekend. If you aren't a part of the BK Army yet, firstly, what are you damn well doing, son? Go and hit the subscribe button below, followed by the little ding -a -ling -a link notification bell so that you get a notification every single time we upload. And you guys know what's coming next. Live your passion. That is the main thing I want you guys to focus on out of these videos. We have some fun, we have a great time, we get to experience some exhilarating sport and that is my passion. I love providing you guys with the content of that and I want you guys to make sure that you never ever listen to someone who tells you that you can't do something because you can do it. I believe in you, you should believe in yourself too. Look, I tell you what, living your passion is the way to live life. Without passion, there's not much to live for. So go out and do it. So telling yourself you're going to do it, just go out and damn well do it. So that's all for this weekend guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. See